In another video, I created a dimension pattern of extrudes on top of this base feature, and my instances are not evenly spaced out on top of that surface. If I want to have them evenly spaced, that's an excellent opportunity to use relations. And all that relations are, they're just mathematical expressions or equations that you write in your model to make some dimensions and parameters a function of other dimensions and parameters in your model. And in the case of this dimension pattern, I want the spacing between the instances to be a function of the base extrude and the size of the extrude features in the pattern and also the number of instances. To write relations, we can do that from the Tools tab and then click Relations. But before I do that, I want to make my model user-friendly for writing the different equations. When you write these equations, you're going to use the names of the dimensions. And by default, the names of the dimensions are the letter D followed by a number. And that's never intuitive. So I'm going to change the names of those different dimensions. Let's start out with Extrude 2. I can click on it and then from the mini toolbar choose edit dimensions and if you use switch dimensions that will toggle between the names and the values of the dimensions and here we have the dimension for 20 and right now the name is D0 and I'm going to call that base X my which will be length of the base in the X direction and let me go back to the Tools tab and switch dimensions, and there we can see base X. For this D1 dimension, when I click on it, let's call that the base Y direction. All right, that's good for the first two. Now let me select the extrude, and what I'm going to use in here, let's see, this is our width. Uh, with dimension, it's the length of the feature in the X direction. And so let's call this one uh, the extrude X. And the other dimension that I'll need to change is this one over here, which is the D203, but I'm going to call that the extrude Y dimension. And we also have this offset in the F, X direction. and offset in the Y direction. And lastly, I'm going to select the pattern. And in here, we have the number of extrudes in the X direction. And the names of dimensions for the pattern instances starts with the letter P, but I'm going to rename this for pattern instances in the X direction. And let's rename this one for the pattern instances in the Y direction. And here we have the increment in the X direction. I'll just call that INCR X. And here we have the increment in the Y direction. And those are the ones that I really want to control with my relations. So with that, let's click back on the background of the screen to close the dimension tab and I can click on relations and I recommend that you always start off your relations with a comment line a forward slash followed by an asterisk will mean the rest of the line is a comment and I'm going to control the pattern increments to space instances evenly and I like a lot of blank spaces, so let's go to a blank line. And in order to figure out the equation, I had to, actually had to sit down with a piece of paper and do the math. And I figured that, all right, the way that you calculate this increment, the spacing between the instances, it's going to be the length of the base. And you're going to subtract out this offset. And you're actually going to multiply that offset to, by 2 because you also want to have the same offset on the other side. And you're also going to subtract the length of one of the instances because your increment goes from here to here and then here to here and then here to here. So you're really concerned about spacing them evenly out between the first edge of the first instance 
and the first edge of the last instance. And so that'll get you the number, uh, the width that you want to spread them over. And then in terms of spacing them evenly, we have in this particular case, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven instances in the first direction. But really, I'm concerned about spreading them out one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's actually going to be one less than the total number of instances. All right, let's write that out. So the increment in the x direction, that's going to be equal to, and I'm going to use an open parentheses, and let's pick the base feature. It's going to be this base x minus, and let's select the extrude, the extrude, the width of the extrude in the x direction times 2. And then we are going, actually, that was the wrong one. It's uh, minus the extrude in the x direction minus 2 times this offset in the x direction. All right, so that is the length that I want them spread out over. And I'm going to divide this by the number of pattern instances in the x direction. Let me put another open parentheses and then minus one. Yeah, so sometimes this is going to take a bit of uh, thought and figuring out. And for the y direction, I'm just going to use copy and paste. I highlight the whole thing, control C and then control V. And because I was consistent in my naming, I can just change the names in here to use Y's. And one more. Before I click the OK button, I always like to click the Verify button to see if I have any typos and everything looks good. So I will click OK and then OK again. And let's start by repainting the screen so I don't have all that garbage on there. Now when I go to the Model tab and click Regenerate, you'll see that they're nice and evenly spaced out. And if I edit definition of the pattern to change the number of instances, maybe change this to a 6 and then change this to a 4 and hit regenerate or hit the check mark and then regenerate it'll adjust them again so now they're evenly spaced out over that surface and if I edit definition one more time and then go to the dimensions tab you'll notice that the increments are grayed out because the increments are calculated by the relation and what's also nice about this is that if I change say the extrude and let me go to the tools tab again and switch dimensions let's say I change this to a value of Let's make this one bigger. Let's make this a value of 30. And let's change this to make it a little smaller. Let's make this a value of 8. And then click on the background. And just to be certain, we can regenerate. Again, they are evenly spaced out over here. And so you can find lots of different uses for relations for controlling your various patterns. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creolewindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.